was doing breakfast, all of a sudden, the dining table and chair started to shake. Suddenly, everything was over. They all were really scared. Finally, after two or three days, they found a house to shift. One day, Mary, Olivia, and Helen were packing their furniture. They heard that a glass broke downstairs. Mary went downstairs, and Olivia and Harry were upstairs. They hear Mary scream. They went downstairs and saw Mary standing still. They asked, What happened, Mom? She pointed straight. They saw a girl standing in front of them. Olivia asked, Who are you? What did you want from us? Suddenly, their phone rings. Olivia picked that up and said, Leave us. Olivia put the phone on the table. Mary asked, what happened? Olivia said. She only wanted to kill us. When we saw at that corner, the girl was disappeared. At night, when everybody was sleeping, they heard a scream. They all gathered in the hall. The lights were flickering, sofas and tables were moving. Suddenly, the lights turned off. All of a sudden, somebody pulls Olivia's leg. She fell down, and an invisible power was pulling her towards the kitchen. Her parents and Harry were trying to stop her, but she was pulled in the kitchen, and the door of the kitchen closed very tightly. They tried to open that door, but failed. After some time, the door opens. They saw Olivia standing in front of the window. She was holding a knife. Harry walked towards her and put his hand on her shoulder slowly. She turned back and attacked on him. Her eyes were red and her half face was burned. She turned to kill Harry with knife. Their parents were pulling Olivia back to save Harry. Mary was saying, leave him. Suddenly, everything started to shake in the kitchen. Harry bites on Olivia's hand and pushed her. Olivia fell down. Harry stood up and said, Go away. Olivia stood up and screamed for 10 seconds. While screaming, she falls down and closed her eyes. She woke up next day. She was in her room. She saw a girl standing in the door and peeking inside the room. Olivia stood up and walked towards him, but she was disappeared. She thought that it would be her illusion. She went downstairs and saw her mother. Mary saw her and said, Thank God you woke up. Olivia asked, Where are Harry and Dad? Her mother answered, Harry is sleeping in his room and his dad is at his office. Olivia asked for breakfast and her mother made her breakfast. After breakfast, Olivia went in her room. She was playing with her doll, but suddenly she heard someone is hammering on the wall. She went outside and saw a black shadow at the end of the corridor. She walked towards that shadow. When she was close to it, it turned black and attacked on Olivia. Her mother listened her scream. She went upstairs and saw Olivia collapsed on the floor. She put her on the bed. She was worried and went downstairs to call ambulance. While this, Harry walked up and went in Olivia's room. He saw Olivia sitting on her bed. She was looking weird. He said, Why are you sitting like this? She suddenly turned and said, Go away from my house. Otherwise, I will kill you all. She falls down on the bed again. Her face was looking pale and her eyes were red like blood. She was cold and weak. Their parents called an ambulance. She was very sick. The doctors didn't diagnose what illness she has. They were so surprised but can't find why she is ill. While this, she was in the hospital. One night, all of them were sleeping. A nurse came in the room to check Olivia. She checked her and went to her office. After 
after some time, she heard a sound. She went outside to see what is going on. She saw Olivia standing in the corner of the corridor. She walked towards her and said, Olivia, why are you standing here? You are sick and you have to take some rest. The nurse takes her inside the room and heard a knock on the door. She turned back to see what was that. There was nothing. She turned back to see Olivia, but there was no body and saw Olivia on her back. She was scared and ran in her office. The lights were flickering. She saw a girl standing in the corner. Suddenly, the girl turns into a black shadow and attacked on the nurse. After some time, police came there. The nurse was dying mysteriously and Olivia became alright. They returned home. They were all were tired and went. After dinner, Olivia and Harry decided to play video games. At 12 o'clock, both of them were slept. In Olivia's dream, she saw dark. She was walking in the dark and saw a girl sitting in the corner and crying. Olivia asked, who are you and why are you crying? The girl answered, I am in pain. Why are you in pain? Tell me, Olivia said. The girl said, me and my family was killed. The girl said, we are buried in your backyard. Suddenly, a woman came and attacked on Olivia. Olivia woke up. She told her dream to her parents. They decided to dig in the back. Simon dug in the backyard for two days but found nothing. But third day, he found some skeletons. He called the police. The police came and brought them to found, find out what happened with them. They researched on them but found nothing. One day, all the family was doing their work. Suddenly, Olivia heard a sound. She went downstairs and saw Harry standing. She asked, Harry, what are you doing? Harry ran in the basement. Olivia also runs. Harry was running and suddenly he stops in a corner of a of basement. He pointed straight. Olivia saw something strange. She saw very strange dolls and things which are used in black magic. She called her parents. They were also surprised. They don't understand what was going on. One day, police called Simon. They called him to police station. They told him that during their research on those skeletons, they found that this family was killed during a black magic ritual. Simon showed them those things which they had found in the basement. Now they were sure that this family was killed. They asked from their neighbors, but they found nothing. While they were asking from a lady in the neighbors, a woman came towards them and said, I know who did this. Simon said, please tell us who did this. She told them that her sister did this. She was their mate. They were so rude and one day they found that she was a witch. They set her to leave their house. She was so angry on them. She also told them that her sister wanted to live forever. She was doing a black magic ritual for this. And the last step of a ritual was to kill a family. I stopped her many times, but she didn't listen to me and killed this family. Simon asked, where did she live? The woman said she was died because she had done something wrong in her ritual. Simon asked, what is the solution to get rid of these paranormal activities? She answered, You have to bury skeletons in the graveyard. After two days, they bury them in the graveyard. After they bury them, everything becomes normal. The family lived there and never experienced any paranormal activity again. They lived happily forever.